is a local based initiative that where we use music to combat hunger, to raise awareness of hunger. And for us, it's about the greater Boston area. We bring in world-class musicians from New England Conservatory, the faculty, the students, the audiences. We bring all these people together and we use these to create a benefit concert series to raise food and to raise awareness. And all our proceeds go to the Greater Boston Food Bank and to the hungry and the needy. And everything that we do is with zero overhead so that every dollar that comes in, every piece of food goes straight to those who need it most. It's a great way of collaborating. The audiences contribute their resources. The musicians contribute their resources. Everybody gets a better feel of community. We all gain experience in our humanitarian efforts and in combating one of the great problems of our society and of our age. originated in Rochester, New York with Carol Rutland, a colleague of mine, who began um, two years ago, If Music Be the Food of Love. And we took over the idea and changed the name, but it's all the same concept. The idea being that the power of music can move not only the musicians, but also audience members to, to be inspired to act for social justice. to do or how to do and this is enabling a lot of people who would love to do something to actually be active participants in something that not only is helpful but makes them also feel good and I think there's nothing wrong with making people feel good about anything at all whatever it might be. students as well as internationally acclaimed artists to come together and make a collaboration, the student body has really become excited about it. Um, I, for instance, am a student and I'm very excited to be sort of organizing the lunchtime concert series that we have at Women's Lunch Place. But what's even more incredible is to see student groups here at New England Conservatory volunteering up their time to go to Newbury Street and to play for women who deal with much harder circumstances and tougher circumstances that we could ever imagine. Um, and to see them come in and offer up their time and to play something like the Brahms C minor piano trio for these amazing people and to see their response as a very positive um, reaction, it's very, very moving and very, um, I guess, satisfying for me as a student. I, I'm sure I could speak on behalf of them also to say that they really enjoy contributing um, their time and their talents. <laughs> ¶¶ 